Hello chaps, I am the Mighty Maximus, and welcome to the craziest hack and slash game I have ever played. Hello! The Dishwasher Vampire Smile, the sequel to The Dishwasher Dead Samurai. I did say I wasn't going to play this game until I complete the first one, but I just wanted to show you guys how crazy this game mode is. It's called The Dish Challenge, and it's basically a horde mode, and it is so crazy, it's unreal. Okay, here we go. In this game you get um, the choice of another character called the Prisoner and you obviously get your badass the Dishwasher. We're going to be going through the Prisoner's gameplay for now and probably I'll devote a special episode to the Dishwasher because well, badass right over there. So let's go. Um, the weapons I'll be using is the Conviction and the Cloud Sword. There are others like the Kamikaze and the Painkiller but this is like a Final Fantasy 7 reference to me where you get the Sephiroth Sword and the Cloud Sword. Best combination in the world. So let's go. Go for broker. Let's go then. Let's, let me just show you how crazy this game mode is. It's so fun. Okay, where are you? There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I'm having way too much fun in this game. The shotgun is, um, because, um, if you've been just keeping track of my other dishwasher gameplay, um, you'll notice that I got really annoyed with people using guns, so I'm just taking this game mode out on my revenge thing, so yeah, here we go, boom, how does it feel, how does it freaking feel, I can spam too, look, I can spam, yeah, <laughs> how does it feel, it's not very skillful, let's go. Ugh. In this game, the prisoner doesn't have a heavy attack like the dishwasher does. Like, you see, when you press Y, he does um, like a like a charge slash. In this game mode, um, the character, the prisoner, she has uh, a little chainsaw on her arm, which is really cool for combos, and it actually adds a lot to your um, hits. As you can see, I'm on 84 hits for some reason. So here we go. The chainsaw acts as her heavy attack, and it is very useful when you combine it with the sword. Because of its like very close range attack, like as you can see, it's really, really um, small. So you don't have range over your opponents. So it's always best to combo with the sword first, and then go straight in with the chainsaw. So, for example, you can just throw them up in the air like here, then you just go bam, bam into the chainsaw. So it's fine. So personally, I prefer just shotgun. Oh yay! <laughs> Get on. Okay, right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I'm such a cool person. Uh oh. Clouds or the charger? That's what that's harder. There we go. <laughs> yeah, fly kick your buddy. Why not? Didn't like him anyway. Uh oh. Um, in this game, you get like a stage of mini bosses as well, which is really, really puts up the tension in your fighting because you're like, oh my god, I have to kill these enemies around him, then I have to go kill him, and then it's gonna be really fun. Oh, I keep missing with that charge attack. It's, it's like the most strongest slash. I'll show you how much health it just destroys from the um, from the bosses. It's ridiculous. Once I get, you know, I'll just show you. Like, I'm not going to use the clouds on the boss because I just find it a bit cheap. You can just keep dodging and just keep using the charge attack. So, not really that fun for a boss fight. So, this is the this is the cloud sword charge attack. Um, once he goes into his, yeah, here we go. It just takes off like so much health that you can constantly spam the charge. But I don't like doing that, so I'm just gonna use the sword and the chainsaw because it's just even more fun. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, okay, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> this is such a cool game. <laughs> GET DESTROYED! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> I love the prisoner character, it's so cool. Oh god, not you, oh. 
This is where I kind of go a bit cheap because these guys really annoy me. I, can't, I, can't, I haven't got really a technique against them unless it's to just use the, the cloud sword and just spam the heavy. Because their attack, because not only do they get to attack with their long ass range weapons, but they also get to, every jump they do serves as an attack. So you feel pretty much like vulnerable to every single one of their attacks. And look at the rate. I was behind him, see? I was behind him. He still hit me with that attack. I'm just going to say, thank goodness in this game, um, they've improved combat by um, making your like little kill scenes invincible. Because in the previous game, do you remember, um, probably when I upload the second one, you'll see how I got screwed over by, some, uh, by a person who attacked me whilst I was doing my kill move. And I had practically no help. So I'm glad they made these um, little cutscenes of Invincible, so it'd be kind of unfair otherwise. Oh my god! Rocket spam! Come on, 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 come on. Yes! You're stupid. This soundtrack is so awesome, it makes me calm down. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Adika power! Time to spam the magic! It's magic! Uh, I hope I oh my, I don't like these people. These, these lot are annoying. Okay. Oh my god, your shotgun. Freaking hell. Ah! What the? You can't just like go one direction then. Ow. Ow. I'm getting. Oh! No, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything there, guys. Well, I hope that gave you an insight to how crazy this game mode is. It is actually the funnest 2D hack and slash game I have ever played. It really is, and I thoroughly enjoy this game. So, if you liked this gameplay and this video, please like this video. It really helps out a lot. Um, I'll probably be uploading some more Dishwasher Dead Samurai there fairly soon. And I'll also be doing a special gameplay video for the Dishwasher in this um, game. So yeah! Cheerio lads, and bye bye for now.